Now we'll start the session. Shall we start? Yeah, please, sir. Now, dear participants and uh, the speaker for the session three of day four, I welcome you all for the session three. Once again, I welcome you all for ACT sponsored Hotel Online FDP. <coughs> And also on behalf of Rajarashvi College of Engineering, I welcome speaker for the session, Dr. Mahesh Vyam, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sri Jaychamarajendra College of Engineering, JSS, SNT, University, Mysore. So he's going to deliver a lecture on smart manufacturing. So I want to introduce speaker for the session, Dr. Mahesh Vyam, is did BE, Mechanical Engineering from BMSC in the year 2000 in the past out year 2000 and did master degree from machine design from UVC Bangalore University from 2005 to 2007 and it, he did doctoral degree from UVC Bangalore University from the year 2010 to 2016. So he is my, I could say he is my PhD mate. So we both under did a PhD under Dr. B.K. Murli Dara. A professor from the UVC. His area of interest is uh, area of specialization in machine design, nanocomposites, hybrid composites, characterization of composite materials. And he has experience in uh, worked as ADA as a project engineer from 2001 to 2003. And has worked as a project graduate trainee in NAL from 2003 to 2004. And he again worked as an ADA as a project engineer from 2004 to 2005. And has worked as a project engineer in MS Ramaya School of Advanced Studies. And also he worked as assistant engineer training in Bemal in KGF. And he has worked as an assistant professor from 2009 to 2017 in MS Ramaya Institute of Technology, Bangalore. And he has authored a book, Intellectual Property Rights Law. And presently, Dr. Mahesh Vyam is working as assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sri Jaychamarajendra College of Engineering from 2017 to till date. And presently, he is guiding four PhD candidates. And he has uh, three number of patents under his name. And he has published around uh, 10 international journals, five international conferences, and three national conferences. So personally, on behalf of uh, Rajarashvi College of Engineering and ACT at Alamla and FDP. I welcome Dr. Mayesh Vyam for the day four, session three. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Irmaj. Thanks for my introduction, Dr. Satish V. And also, before starting, I thank uh, for inviting me as a guest lecturer from that is Rajarashvi College for um, Five days ICT training and learning under on a faculty development program on lean manufacturing in industry 4.0 scenario. So today I'll be discussing with in-depth introduction to smart manufacturing. Am I audible, sir? You are audible, sir. Can you? Yeah, thank you. So so today I'll be giving in depth, that is the introduction to manufacturing, smart manufacturing. So here you can see that uh, this smart manufacturing is a, nowadays it has become a common area and also, so some of our uh, faculty members already discussed, even though what you people can do if you read twice, thrice, so that that will be better understand, don't get bored. So I'll be starting with the topic of this smart manufacturing. So before starting, you should know what is smart manufacturing system. So here you can see smart manufacturing systems are fully integrated 
collaborative manufacturing systems that respond in real time to meet changing demands and conditions in the factory as well as in the supply network and in consumer needs so from this what you can understand means so now you can see in earlier days manufacturing means they used to a product make a product in the shop floor and uh, after making product or manufacturing the product so you can see that there be some process there is a line sequence of scheduling all such things but nowadays you can see smart manufacturing so here that is fully integrated that is with the help of collaborative manufacturing systems in a real time so that it can meet changing demands whenever it is required that it can be changed and also the conditions in the factory so as well as in the supply network and in the consumer needs this is how this smart manufacturing sits so and also you can see smart manufacturing is a broad category of manufacturing with the goal of optimizing concept generation product production and product transaction so here you can see as i said is a broad category of manufacturing so here so it is used to optimizing the goal and also concept generation whenever it is required suddenly it may come or it depends on the vendor so they may give some can uh, orders so in between they may require some changes so those things can be done easily with the help of this manufacturing and also it employs computer control and high level of adaptability so when it is required so this will be used with the public computer control and also it aims to take advantage of advanced information and manufacturing there is a manufacturing technologies to enable flexibility in physical processes to address a dynamic and global market so also you can see that smart technologies is manufacturing so till now what i explained is smart manufacturing but smart technology in manufacturing so you can see that uh, it is a technology driven approach that utilizes internet connected machinery to monitor the production process the goal of this smart manufacturing is to identify opportunities for automating operations and use data analysis analytics to improve manufacturing process and also you can see so in this that is uh, flexibility and use of technology rather than the specific task is a customary in traditional manufacturing so uh, now coming to the smart map factories so as you all know in the 21st century uh, manufacturing facilities have used there is a new wave of manufacturing with an amalgamation of technologies from advanced robotics to fully integrated production systems so with these smart manufacturing are also called industry 4.0 manufacturers are moving is moving towards a new level of interconnected and intelligent System, there is a manufacturing system which incorporates the latest advances in sensors, robotics, big data, and controls. That will come to uh, in uh, detail. So here you can see in smart manufacturing is an opportunity to create new forms of efficiency and flexibility by connecting different processes, information streams, and stakeholders. So here you can see front line workers, planners, etc. in a steam line fashion small factory initiatives might also be referred to as digital factory or also called intelligent factory this is what that smart factories says now the components of small manufacturing we can see the components so again we'll be discussing this one in uh, later in the further slides that is the major components of smart manufacturing so there may be some repetition okay here you can see the essential features of smart manufacturing people will as a key player so people will play a key players in this smart manufacturing also distributed intelligence so fast integration and flexible configurations 
open standards for shared real time representations and digital life cycle management so here in architecture so we people just that we may get confused so why it is so called so that is uh, yeah how that industry 4.4 has come so you can see here so it has been nearly 260 years since the beginning of the original industrial revolution thought to have started around that is 1760 in the united states the latest iteration of this process the fourth industrial revolution has been called smart manufacturing so hence it is called industry 4.0 so while in europe it's known as industry 4.0 so what it does what it is what was the first industrial revolution so that you can see the first industrial revolution was characterized by a steam power and the power loom so the assembly line was introduced during the secondary second industrial revolution and the third revolution you can see the automation and data analysis automation came along in 1970s so during the third industrial revolution so this fourth industrial revolution is characterized by a range of interconnected automated systems that are fusing the physical digital and biological worlds so now again with respect to related the technologies we can see some of the components of smart manufacturing also so here what it happens is in addition to the internet of things that is iot there are number of technologies that will enable smart manufacturing including that is a artificial intelligence that we call it as the ai nowadays you can see most of the uh, colleges have started in cs branch artificial intelligence, intelligence as a separate branch so here artificial intelligence are also called machine learning enables that is the automatic decision making based on the reams of the data that manufacturing companies collect if there is ai or machine learning can analyze all this data and make intelligent decisions based on the input information so we can see nowadays drones and driverless vehicles can increase the productivity by reducing the number of workers needed to do road tasks such as moving vehicles across the facilities and also you can see blockchain blockchain's benefits including immutability traceability and disintermediation can provide a fast and efficient way to record and store the data similarly you can see edge computing edge computing helps manufacturers turn massive amount of machine generated data into actionable data to gain insights to improve decision making to accomplish this it uses resources connected to a network such as alarm or temperature sensors enabling data analytics to happen at the data source so similarly you can see the predictive analysis so companies can also analyze the use amount of data that they collect from all the data source to anticipate the problems and they bring forecasts so this what the history of this historical development of smart manufacturing so now coming to this components of smart manufacturing we can see that so here there are industry 4.0 the cyber physical system internet of things so cloud computing big data system integrations so again here you can see digital manufacturing additive manufacturing advanced robotics sustainable manufacturing advanced simulation augmented reality so these are all you can see but before getting started with there are few challenges the industry faces the manual only approach that is driving fast improving and selling products and services smartly improving market experience communicating and analyzing process performance of human machines 
lack of real time data extraction for faster decision making. So then why there is a need for smart manufacturing? So you can see streamlined and automated data collection, predictive maintenance, significant cost reductions, reduced workforce challenges, and now support of jobs. So now coming to this so smart manufacturing, you can see the computer integrated manufacturing systems. So here, this seems also passing is a major component of smart manufacturing system. Here, what it does, the components of seems we can see the include both hardware and software. The hardware includes, as you all know, the computer hardware network manufacturing device and peripherals, it means the devices. The software includes operating systems, communication software, database management systems, manufacturing planning and control software, the management information software, design software, office automation software, and decision support software. So these different hardware and software systems have different functions and work together to fulfill the company's business goals. So here you can see the SIM structures. You can see this is the components of SIM. So this is CAD, as you all know, computer-aided design, or computer-aided drafting, CAE computer-aided engineering, GET. Then uh, you can see DFM, IGS, PDS, DMS. So here, and these things are product design software and process planning, you can see CAD, CAM, CAP, computer process planning, cellular manufacturing, then map step. Then this all comes under process planning. And here you can see manufacturing. So that is manufacture FC and CNC, DLC, RFMS, robotics, CAGV, ASRS, automated inspections, sales and centers. And similarly, the system management, you can see PPM, barcode, CDI, MRP, uh, command then DSS, ESA, LAN, TAP, satellites. So this we'll discuss one by one. So these are all the these are all the com major components of smart manufacturing. Here you can see computer integrated manufacture system. So that is also called SIMS. Here you can see CAD or CAPP CM system. So as you all know. CAD computer design. So before going to this, we should know the SIM structure and functions. So the components of SIM include, you can see as I told here on this, this, this component of SIM include both hardware and software, as I told, and hardware in terms that is a computer or network and software, as I told, it was operating system. So from this figure, it can be seen that SIMS consists of four functional subsystems and two support subsystems. The four functional subsystems are management information, that is CAD, CAP, CAM, manufacturing automation, and computer quality management. These functional subsystems cover the business process of a company. The two support systems are computer network and database management. They are the basis that allow the functional subsystem to fulfill the, the tasks. The arcs denote the interfaces between different subsystems. Through these interfaces, shared data are exchanged between different subsystems. Are uh, coming to one by one, that is CAD, that is computer aided design. So you can see the, what is that? We should know. So SCAD, CAP, CAM. So those stand for computer aided design. Then CAPP is a computer aided process planning, then CM computer aided manufacturing. So here the system is sometimes called the design automation system, meaning CAD, CAP, CAM. These are the design automated systems that is used to promote the design automation standards and provide the means to design high quality, high quality products faster. Here, first one, you can see CAD, computer aided design. So is a process so that uses computers to assess the creation 
modification analysis or optimization of the product design suppose if you want to design any product so initially you have to create and suppose if the modification is required so that can be done and after modification if you want to do analysis that can be done so and also after that optimization of the product so that all these things can be done with the copy cad that is computer design so what it it means it is not the integration of computers into design activities by providing a close coupling between the designer and the computer so here the typical design activities involving a cad systems are preliminary design and there is a drafting modeling and simulation here such as such activities may be viewed as cad application so here you can see that in cad application that model is in a controlled network operation under the supervision of a computer so here a cad system consists of three basic components one is hardware which include computer and input and output devices application software and operating system software operating system so acts as a interface between the hardware and the application software system so the cad system functions can be grouped into three categories one is geometrical modeling engineering analysis and automated drafting so geometric modeling constructs the graphic images of a part using basic geometric elements such as points lines and circles under the support of cad software so wireframe is one of the first geometric modeling method it uses points curves and other basic elements to define the objects so then the surface modeling then solid modeling and parametric modeling methods are presented in the area of geometric modeling area so that is sex in engineering design completes the analysis and evaluation of the product design a number of computer based techniques are used to calculate the product operational functional and manufacturing parameters so now the last function of cad system is automated drafting the automated drafting functions includes 2d and 3d product design drafting converting a 3d entity model into a 2d representation now coming to the second one as the computer aided process plan so here it is responsible for detailed plan for the production of a part of an assembly here what it happens it acts as a bridge between design and manufacturing by translating design specifications into manufacturing process details so this operations i include the sequence of steps to be executed according to the instructions each step on this consists with the controls indicated in the instructions so closely related to process planning function are the functions that determine the working conditions and set the time channels so the foundation of cap is a group technology gt stands for group technology what it says in group technology so which is means coding part of basis of similarities in their design and manufacturing attributes so a well attributed cap systems can reduce clerical work work in manufacturing engineering and provide assistance in production so here one of the first task of cap system is to complete the selection of raw work piece this is very much important so one of the first task of cap system is to complete the selection of the proper raw work piece according to functional requirements of the design part it determine the attributes of the raw work piece it means for example such as shape comma that is size and that is size means dimensions and weight and materials so other jobs for the cap systems are determining manufacturing operations and the receipt pencils selecting machine tools and selecting tools fixtures and inspection equipment determination of manufacturing conditions and manufacturing times are also part of the work of cap these conditions will be used in optimizing 
manufacturing cars. So this CAP system also consists of computer program that allow planning personal interactivity to create, store, edit, and print fabrication and assembly planning instruction, such as system offers the potential for the reducing the routine clerical work of manufacturing engineers. So the, you can see it, again, these CAP systems are classified various CAP systems. So in case, so it is difficult to name all the packages available so far process planning. So we can see, the, so some of the, uh, process planning, that is a uh, different packages. I'll read out that. So one is, uh, that is the CAP, that is a look at active data, innovation, and Alice Chalmers. So auto plan, APAS, there are different packages available in CAP, that is a computer aided process planning. So there are number of the packages which comes under this cap. So if suppose if I want to retrieve the, the, the type of computed edit process planning. So what it happens? So in this system, separate files, for example, separate files for part family, there is a machine routing and operation sequence are created and stored. So along with that, algorithm is also available, which enables the users to identify the family to which the component belongs when he or she enters the part code number. For example, suppose a completion of the search, search standards routing is retrieved from the machine routing file and then started standard operation sheet is retrieved from the operation reference file. This is one of the advantage in CAP system so that easily it can be retrieved. So this is how the smart the manufacturer will play a very important role in this smart manufacturing. So these are edited to take care of any variation which a particular component may have from the art. So that is other application software are also used to obtain the process planning in proper Format with all the required details. So, suppose in this cap, okay. So, suppose if I want to generate a system, what it will happen? First, it differs, okay, it differs from variant type. That in this case, the process plan is made from scratch. First, no standard plans exist, and as such, no retrieval is involved in this case. First, what it will happen? The software in the system is capable of taking technical and logical decision. So that is what I said, there is algorithm and step-by-step sequence. Based on the stored information pertaining to capability capabilities of machine tool or others. When the user inputs, there is a description of the part in proper coded form and thus outputs the process plan. So it builds the optimal processor sequence based on the part description provided the machine capabilities. So one of the major important in this computer aided process that is so it can be retrieved or it also it can be generated with the CAP systems. Next you can see the CAM computer aided manufacturing. So it refers to production control functions. So here you can see the production control functions will be introduced in the manufacturing automation subsystems that we call the MAS section. Also, it includes preparing data for MAS, including producing NC numerical control code or NC machines, generating tools position, planning tool motion road, and simulating tool movement. So, here before the NC code or NC machine centers can be generated, a number of parameters regarding machine tool specification, performance, computer numerical control, system behavior, and coding format should be determined first. And the manufacturing method and operations will be selected according to these parameters. As I said, geometrical dimensions, and solid forms, and design specification. 
So here we can see the CAM system will calculate the two position data. Then the data regarding the part dimensions, the tool motion track, cutting parameters, and numerical control instructions are generated in the program file. And the file called the NC program is used by the machine tool to process part automatically. So once in the CAM, if you understood, then you should know the benefits of the CAM. So here you can see the number of benefits when it comes to creating components used in building constructions. So compared to manually operated machines, so this CAM generally offers greater speed in producing components. This is what the one of the very important and the major benefits of CAM. So the greater accuracy and consistency with each component of finished product exactly the same. So third one, you can see the management data efficiency as com computer control machines. So do not need to take breaks. So I sophistication in terms of following complex patterns like tracks or circuit boards. Reserve the benefits of CAM will play very important role in smart manufacturing. This CAD, CAP, CAM. So here, yeah, so that those are integrations besides the uh, utilization of CAD, CAP, and CAM technology alone. The integration of this CAD, CAP, and CAM, you can see the, is an important way to enhance the company's product design standards. So three methods can be used in the integration of CAD, CAP, CAM. First one is, so exchange product data to specify a specific device data format. That is exchange product data through standard data format such as STEP, IGS, and DXF. These are all the different formats and unified products data model to exchange product information. So next, so this is what the integration of CAD, CAP, and CAM. So this will play an important role in the smart manufacturing. Then next you can see ASRS, it means automated storage and retrieval systems. So which comes under the major components of smart manufacturing. So here the conventional storage systems require a human work. So you can see in uh, main uh, data warehousing, so convention storage system requires a human worker to access the item in storage in which the storage system itself is static. So automated storage system are available to reduce or eliminate the amount of human interval interactions. So, and that is the automated storage and retrieval systems is a combination of equipment and controls which handles, stores, and retrieves materials with precision, accuracy, and speed under a defined degrees of automation. So, and also this automated storage and retrieval system focuses on finding a specific desired item and delivering it to the operator. So here again, an uh, automated storage and retrieval system consists of one or more storage uh, as these that are serviced by storage retrieval S bar R, that is a storage retrieval system, that is a storage retrieval machine. The stored materials are added by storage racks as, uh, as there is a as less. It means in the form of a building blocks. So here, these storage materials are added by storage racks of as well. Here, the storage or retrievers machines, what it happens, you can see, are used to deliver and retrieve materials in and out of the inventory. Also, this pickup and deposit station are where inventory are transfers into and out of the automated storage and retrieval systems. Then, what is the objectives of ASRS, that is automated storage and your system? What it will happen? So this we can take a simple example is 
you can see in the and that's a simple example is the medicine that is a uh, medical store you can see if you go for a bigger a shop or medical uh, that is a medical shop you can see number of facts will be there so we will have thousands in the number of medicines so what it will happen over there so there will be number of medicine automatically that we can be picked so so due to uh, picking automatically you can what it will happen increase the result you can uh, save some time so the main objectives of this automated storage and retrieval systems you can see increase the storage capacity increasing the stock rotation maximum utilization of flow space customer service is improved control over inventories is improved ensuring safety in storage function reducing labor cost in storage operations so what i said i gave you simple example medical store but if you go for a bigger industry bigger manufacturing industry there will be a large number of components will be there so that if you want to pick automatically so this smart manufacturing will play very much important role so that due to that this asrs automated storage and retrieval system will play an important role that is what the objectives we can see so increase the storage capacity and also the rotation stock rotation then and there itself that can be that can be used and reused and can be rotated and maximum position of floor space so customer service is improved control over inventory is improved ensuring safety in storage function then reducing labor cost storage operation so this will play a several the different objectives of uh, this asrs so we'll see how it will happen with help of some images you can see types of asrs that is automated and retrieval systems so you can see here so in big industry so the unit load that is automated storage and retrieval system is used to store and retrieve loads that are palletized or stored in standard sized containers so here you can see the loads are generally worth 5000 lp per unit pound per unit. so here stacking heights are up to 130 feet high it depends on the requirement so and again this stacking heights are up to 130 feet high you can see here so from this images we can see that is automatic storage and retrieval system so that will be very much important and also here mini load automated storage you can see here the system is designed to handle small load so such as individual parts tools and supplies that are contained in bins in the storage system so such a system is applicable where the availability of space is limited so this a mini load automated storage and retrieval system is generally smaller than a unit load so that is a stacking height range from 12 to 20 feet whereas in case of the unit load the stacking heights are up to 130 feet whereas in mini loads the stacking heights are equal to 20 feet then again you can see in different types deep plane automated storage and retrieval systems so here this you can see with help of this figure the cpc is similar to unit load a system automated system and retrieval system that is accept load can be stored to greater depth in the storage rack for storing large quantities of stuff a rack entry vehicle is used to carry loads into the rack from the storage retrieval machine and is controlled by the machine then what are the applications of asrs you can see that the applications of asrs so here unit load storage and retrieval their warehousing and the said data warehousing or warehousing and distribution operations so this used 
automated storage and fuel system types with unit load or deep line, for example. So, second one, you can see order picking that is use automated storage and fuel system types. So, that is will be mini load. For example, you can man on board. So, what can process storage? So, here you can see helps to improve that is a manage that is a work in WIP work in progress of factory operations and buffer storage between operations with different production trades. And you can see kitting of parts for assembly. So these are all working process storage. So which comes under uh, the applications of automated storage and fuel systems. So next you can see computed edit quality control. Here quality is very much important. Is a manufacturing constraint. It can be defined as degree to which a product uh, its components conform to certain standards that have been specified by the designer. So our next is this computer edit quality control. So inspection is normally used to examine whether the product conforms to the design standards specified for it for a mechanical component. This will be probably concerned with the dimensions, surface, texture, and tolerance specified for the part. Non -conforming, conforming goods, results, scrap, rework, and the laws of customer could be. These are come under inspection. So, here you can see again the testing this is a process of checking the quality by the third party tools. Either they develop a component as customer requirement or not. So, various categories of tests used for final product evaluation. So, here functional that is a Test under normal or simulated operating conditions. Then fatigue or wear. Fatigue or wear test to determine the product's life functions until failure. Overload test to determine the level of safety factor built into the product. Environmental testing to determine how well the product will perform under defined environments. For example, humidity, temperature, vibration. So here you can see computer edit quality control. In earlier days, this computer was not there. In quality section, they used to check it by the human eye. There may be, a, it, it may be varied from you know, different human to human. So human will be more. But even though quality was, uh, will play important role. Even this one also can be done with the help of computer aided quality control. And so this is how the smart manufacturing will be playing an important role. Then after that, you can see contact inspection method. So in contact inspection method, you can see in the contact inspection method, physical contact is made between the object and measuring the gauging instrument. Typically, this contact is achieved using a mechanical probe or other device. It depends. So that touches the item. So no item and allow the infection procedure to occur. So by this nature, what it will happen, contact inspection is concerned with some physical information of the part, that is the dimensions of the part, and so contact dimension that is a methods are widely used in manufacturing and production industries to assess the metal parts. So here again, there are different types of contact inspection modes or the methods are there. One is conventional instruments, stylus measurement instrument, coordinate measuring instruments. So here again, coming to these conventional instruments, you can see that you all have you know that is a scale, gear bars, Slip gauges, vernier, calibers, screw gauge are coming to this stylus measuring system. So, here is a type instrument are commercially available to measure surface roughness. So, here these electronic devices have a cone shaped dense stylus with point radius of both in this case 0 0.005 millimeter under 90 degree tip angle, where in case of 
this stylus measuring system. So here again, this 90 degree angle what will happen? This stylus will traverse across the latest surface at a constant slow speed. As the stylus head moves horizontally, it also moves vertically to follow the surface deviation. Here in stylus measuring system, the vertical movements are promoted in developing signal that represents the topography of the surface along the path taken by the stylus. So this can be displayed either as a profile of the surface or an average surface reference of the value. Third one, you can see coordinate measuring, measuring machine. Here also called CMM, coordinate measuring machine. So here it must have a constant probe. Here this CMM must have a constant probe that can be positioned in 3D space relative to the surface of a work part. And that is, as I said, 3D space, it will have X coordinate, Y coordinate, and Z coordinates of the probe. And it can be accurately, precisely recorded to obtain dimensional data concerning the part geometry. So this is how this can be this uh, coordinate measuring system. So here again, so in coordinate measuring systems, you can uh, uh, see there are different types of uh, coordinate measuring system. One is cantilever, another is a moving bridge, and uh, another one is a fixed bridge. So these are the different types of uh, this coordinate measuring machine. So along with that horizontal line, gantry column, these all will come under coordinate measuring machine. So, and again, in this, as I told, in this, uh, we are discussing the contact inspection method. There are non-contact inspection method also. Here, the non-contact method are divided into two categories. Uh, for our, there is a two categories, one is optical and a uh, second one is non-optical. So, here in optical, here machine vision, scanning laser, beam device, photogrammetry will be come under optical, there is a non-contact inspection method. And again, in non-optical, there is an electric field techniques, radiation techniques, ultrasonic techniques. This will be used. These are all will come under non-contact inspection method. So then what are the advantages of seeing and disadvantages of seeing? We should know computer and integrated manufacturing. So here, advantage is responsiveness to shorter product life cycle and this better process control emphasis in quality and uniformity supports and coordinates exchange of information designs components for machines decrease the cost of production and maintenance and what will be the disadvantage of C? so unfamiliar technical technologies used that requires major in, in corporate culture Reduction in short term profit, pursued risk is high, high maintenance cost, and expensive implementation. So, this is about the advantages and disadvantages of seeing. So, now, as I told, the smart pan manufacturing is also called a industry 4.0. Then, what is this industry 4.40? This, as I told, the fourth revolution of this manufacturing called it as an industry 4.0. And here, industry 4.0 is a signaling a change that is a, uh, in the traditional manufacturing landscape. Here, this is also called fourth industry revolution. So, again, we can see this industry 4.0 converges that is IP. That is, uh, you can see 4.0 example is three technology trends. And this information known as connectivity, inter connectivity, intelligence, and flexible automation. So this 4.0 converges IT information technology and OT operational technologies to create a cyber physical environment. So here, this convergence has been made possible thanks to the emergence of digital solutions and advanced technologies which are often associated with industry for part of the So here we can see this 
industry 4.0 i think some of my friend that is dr raju bhs has discussed let it be so if it fits also nothing will happen you can at least you can make remember a lot so here this for industry 4.0 zero includes the industry internet of things big data cloud computing additive manufacturing and advanced robotic augmented and virtual reality there is AR, VR. So here first you come across this industrial in internet of things. So before that we should know this industry 4.0 is includes number of data so which the technologies that is a uh, uh, big data, IoT, IAOT, IAM, cloud computing. So these technologies are helping to drive manufacturing and digital transformation through the integration of previously disparate system and processes through interconnected computer systems across the value and supply chain. Here embracing this part, industry 4.0, that is digital manufacturing and the interconnectivity that comes it opens a menaira of benefits for companies, including greater agility, flexibility, and operational performance. So here come to this first one, industrial internet of things. So what it says, so here you can see, at the art of the industry 4.0, is the internet of things, I work key. So could think me that it refers to a network of physical devices that are digitally interconnected and also facilitating the communication and exchange of data through the internet. These smart devices could be anything from smartphones and household appliances to cars and even buildings. So here, this industry, I, the IoT is a subset of the Internet of Things, where various sensors, radio frequency, uh, identification, that is RFID, tags, software, and electronics are integrated in the, with industry machines and systems to collect real-time data about their conditions and performance. So here, for example, this you can see this IoT has many use cases with asset management tracking being one of the major applications of the technology today so this part is i'll give a simple example so nowadays in many of the part we started inserting subject in your other id card college id card so here in college id card with the app of that chip easily that can be accessible by sitting in one place so this is how this smart manufacturing industry in this man for smart manufacturing is very important so here for a simple example you can see iot can be using prevent the overstocking or understocking of inventory also so one way to achieve this so here you can see one way to achieve this uh, is to use shelf fitted sensors and weighing device to broadcast inventory information to your warehouse management system as well. Putting such a system in place, what it will happen allows warehouse managers to monitor inventory levels, thereby gain real time visibility and control over inventory. So, this you can see that uh, suppose if you take, have a look at how there is a health solution to achieve cost savings in its supply chain. So here, this healthcare adopt IoT for inventory and supply chain management. This is one of the good examples. You can see that in uh, healthcare, so suppose uh, in healthcare uh, service provider that operates around 15 hospitals, if you assume 15 hospitals, so what it will happen, the company deploys radio frequency identification technology, that is RFID, to track and manage thousands of medical suppliers. So this RFID, this is a very simple example. This RFID technology, as I told, RFID means 
this radio frequency identification. So technology uses radio waves to read and capture information stored on a tag attached to an object, such as healthcare supplies. Previously, the process of tagging entity involved attached an object. Okay, involved a lot of manual labor. But however, monitoring inventory manually can be challenged since hospital purchase a variety of products from suppliers and store a lot of items on site for specific procedures. So in some cases, products expiration data will need to be closely monitored, while the loss of stock can lead to a lot of time spent on conducting inventory checks. For this season, for this reason. So the healthcare is used to implement RFID tagging technology in 2015. So since impl implementing this RFID technology, the healthcare reduces the amount of stock kept on site on each facility uh, around some uh, certain percentage. So and also the company predicts that it will see ongoing savings of around some millions annually. So once RFID tagging is fully implemented, and then so that this IOT improves operation and also increase efficiency, reduce cost, and provide valuable real time visibility across the supply chain. This is what this internet, internet, there is the industrial internet of things will be play very important role in smart life future. Now, big data and analysis. Here you can see in this big data refers to the large or complex data sets generated by IoT devices. This data comes from a wide range of cloud and enterprise applications, websites, computers, sensors, cameras, and such, and much more all coming in different formats and protocols. When it comes to data, the use of data analytics is essential to convert data to information that can deliver actionable insights. Machine learning models and data visualization can aid data analytics processes. Broadly speaking, machine learning techniques apply powerful computational algorithms to process massive data sets while data visualization tools enable manufacturers to more easily comprehend the story and data tells. When it comes, that is, you can see that ultimately by taking previously isolated this uh, data sets, collecting the analyzing them, companies are now able to find new ways to optimize the processes that have greatest effort on yield. So these are this big data decision making. So uh, in Bosch, uh, some of the case studies you, you can see in Bosch Automotive Factory in China. So combining um, this IoT and big data is the recipe Bosch is using to drive the digital transformation of its Bosch Automotive Business System Factory in China. So there, what it happens, the company connects its machinery to monitor the overall production process at the core of its plant. This is achieved by embedding sensors into the factory machines, which are then used to collect the data about the machine's conditions and cycle time. Once collected, advanced data analytics tools process the data in real time and alert workers when they bottleneck any bottlenecks in the production operations have been identified, taking this approach helps to predict equipment schedules, enabling the factory schedule maintenance operations well before any failure occurs. So as a result, the factory is able to keep its machinery running and operating for longer stretches of time. The company states that using data analysis in this way has contributed to more than 10% output increase in certain areas. So, as improving delivery and customer satisfaction, ultimately a greater insight into the plant's operations supports better and faster decision making throughout the entire organization, enabling it to reduce equipment downtime and optimize.
production process. So next you can see the cloud computing here. So with the advent of an IoT, you can see the Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 reality is that data is being generated at a staggering speed and the high volumes making it impossible to handle manually. This creates a need for an infrastructure that can store and manage this data more efficiently. So this is where cloud computing comes in. Cloud, that is the computing of a platform for users to store and process vast amount of data on remote servers. So it enables organizing organizations to use computer resources without having to de develop a computing infrastructure optimized. The term, this cloud computing refers to information being stored in the cloud, accessed remotely through the internet. So in itself, this cloud computing is not a solution of its own, but enables the implementation of other solutions that once required heavy computing power. So here, what it will happen, the capability of cloud computing to provide scalable computing resources and storage space enables companies to capture and apply business intelligence through the use of big data analytics, helping them to consolidate and streamline and manufacturing and business operation. Here, this smart manufacturers global spending on cloud computing platform is predicted to reach around that is around 9.2 dollar million in 2021 according to this some standards so a key factor behind this adoption is the benefit of being able to centralize operations eliminating so that information can be shared across an an organization according to the security control computer related engineering and manufacturing is the most widely adopted system in the cloud so from this what we can confirm is clearly this cloud computing is transforming virtually every facet of manufacturing from workflow management to production free operations and even product qualification So here, you know, one of the case studies you can see that is one of the uh, not shown in this slide. So, so this works are then as you all know that it creates a automotive cloud. So that is okay, that it connected cross are a big new trend in the automotive industry, having emerged as an opportunity to offer digital added value service for customers. One of the first automakers to jump on this trend is Volkswagen, which joined forces with Microsoft to develop a cloud network, the Volkswagen Automotive Cloud. The technology plan for 2020 will offer a range of features, include smart home connectivity, a personal digital assistance, predictive maintenance service, media streaming, and updates. This Volkswagen company aims to add over 5 million Volkswagen brand offering per year its internet of things iot with the help of this cloud service as the automation industry makes impressive sites in developing advanced autonomous and electric vehicles car makers needs to come up with an effective approach of managing and transmitting large amount of data to their vehicles incorporating cloud-based storage and communication platform emerges as an effective way to overcoming the challenges faced by these automakers. This is what one of the very much important, the cloud computing. So here, most of them have been saying now, nowadays you can see in a fingertip, you can buy anything. So one of the softwares you can see cloud kitchen. So you can buy anything, so you can for those things app. Similarly, in works of company, they are started and they are challenging overcoming a phase with so many automated there is automakers so next you can see the advanced robotics here the robotics have been used in manufacturing for decades so this industry 
has given new life to this technology. So here, Test 4.0 are also called, as I said, small manufacturing with recent advancement in technology, a new generation of advanced optics is emerging, capable of performing difficult and delicate tasks, powered by cutting edge software and sensors they can recognize, analyze, and hack upon information they receive from the environment and even collaborate and lean from humans. One area of robots play a gaining significant traction is collaborative robots, that is robots designed to one people think workers from by improve various operations also. So one of the example is in California based such robotics has developed collaborative autonomous mobile robot for locating, tracking, moving inventory in various on logistics facilities. This all you can see in there is in TV also television also or in the through media also. So similarly here and these robots become more autonomous, flexible, and cooperative. They will be able to tackle even more complex assignments, relieving the worker from the monotonous task and increasing productivity of, on the factory floor. Now, last, you can see additive manufacturing. So even this one also very much important during smart manufacturing. Here, Alongside this robotics and intelligent systems, additive manufacturing or 3D printing is a key technology driving industry 4.0. Additive manufacturing works by using digital 3D models to create parts with a 3D printed layer by layer. So this way also nowadays we can see 3D printing is becoming very much important. What not the product is required with the help of programming and coding, so that respective product can be easily manufactured with the help of the 3D printing. So here, 3D printing is emerging as a valuable digital manufacturing technology, one solely a rapid prototyping. So here you can see that is uh, today, this additive manufacturing offers a huge scope of possibilities for manufacturing from tooling to mass customization across virtually all industries. It enables parts to be stored as design files in virtual inventory so that they can be produced on demand and closer to the point of need a model known as distributed manufacturing. Such a decentralized approach to manufacturing can reduce transportation systems and <coughs> cost as well as simplify inventory management by storing digital files instead of physical parts. And the next is excuse me, augmented reality. The manufacturing industry is just beginning to explore the benefits of augmented uh, reality technology. This augmented uh, reality bridges the gap between the digital and physical words by superimposing virtual images or data onto a physical object. For this, the technology uses AR capable devices such as smartphones, tablets, and smart glasses. In the context the, of manufacturing, this augmented reality cloud could enable workers to speed up the assembly process and improve decision making. So let's Take a, a, a medical instance as an example. A surgeon using this augmented reality glasses during the surgical operation, the glasses would overlay data from patients' MRI and CT scans, such as nerves, major blood vessels, and darts onto a patient, and highlight them in colors. This helps the surgeon to define the safest path into the region that needs innovation, minimizing the risk of complications and improving surgeon position. So in context of this uh, manufacturing, we can see that 
for example, AR glasses could be used to project data such as layouts, assembly, guidelines, sites of possible malfunction or a serial number of components and the real time facility facilitating faster and easier work procedures. So this augmented reality bridge the gap between the digital and physical works by superimposing virtual images. So also this augmented real this reality increases productivity at general ethics also. So this general ethics offers a glimpse at how augmented reality technology can affect manufacturing. The company is currently plotting the use of augmented reality glasses as its jet engine manufacturing facilities. Uh, before using these smart glasses, jet engine makes offer at the staff what they were doing in order to check their manuals and ensure tasks were being performed correctly. However, this augmented reality glasses, they can now receive digitized instructions in their field of view. The mechanics can also access training videos or use voice commands to contact expert or media assistants. So during the pilot, you can see this general ethics, this general electric SGE reports that the productivity of workers using smart variables increased by up to 11% compared to previously. Ultimately, this approach could offer a tremendous potential to minimize the errors, cut down on costs, and improve product quality. Even with this example from general electric, we are still scratching the surface when it comes to implementing augmented reality within the manufacturing context. So here, this smart manufacturing is changing quickly, call it industry 4.0 and the fourth industrial revolution are new startups. So, but the facts remain the same, manufacturing is experiencing an era of acceleration. To keep up, this manufacturers need to adopt and oppose the welcome changes. Increasingly, that approach the being agile. So that is across industry and vehicle, this vertical manufacturers apply agile methods to access faster into value and increase resilience into a time of disruptions. So that is for software development, agile allows manufacturers to harness a fast rate of change of competitive advantage by emphasizing rapid iteration, operator augmentation, operational flexibility, and bottom up innovation. Agile manufacturing enables a fast response to customer demands while according works to innovate. Here we can see this agile manufacturing flexibility, bottom up innovation, and agility in order to adapt to an iterative process to changing condition. This agile manufacturing principles, we can see the lean and agile manufacturing are both widely popular. However, they should not be confused. On the one hand, lean manufacturing is a focus on increasing efficiency by reducing waste. On the other hand, other manufacturing aims to increase efficiency through flexible parallel problem solving. While some of the ideas of lean manufacturing and other manufacturing overlap, the fundamental principles are different. Key principles of other manufacturing are iterate faster, Flexibility, bottom up, argumentation. Manufacturing. This will lead to introduce you to agile manufacturing. Uh, we we'll, uh, can see some of the uh, history review, dive deep into each of the principles and give concrete tips on how to adopt this method of working on the shop floor. So this figure shows that so working level of shop floor. So there is a balance of puzzle manufacturing, flexibility, rapid iteration, argumentation, bottom up, bottom up innovation. So you should know this, what is agile manufacturing. So that is, is a approach to manufacturing that leverage facility bottom-up innovation augmentation in 
order to adapt to an iterative process to change the condition. Here, there are four major, you can see, so there are four major shifts uh, the, in the manufacturing landscape are made agile method necessary. One is rapid evolving environment. In this case, technology is driving significant change in the manufacturing. But technology is not the only moving part. Customers are also evolving quickly. They now higher standards, they expect product customization, cost delivery, a cheaper production. Regulations are changing as well, increasing in number and severity. So add to these increasingly complex supply chain and questionable trade stability and yeah, an environment that demands flexibility. Second one, you can see that constant technology development. So in that case, new technologies appear every day and manufacturing is getting its bearings in the digital age. Moving forward, manufacturers will feel the effort, effects of new technologies in unexpected way. According to a report that is published by some, we can see in 2018, manufacturing will experience more disruptions in the next five years than in the past 20 years combined. So third one, we can see more access to information, low, more access to information, connected factories, product data on an unprecedented scale. Data will enable steep forward like predictive maintenance and supply chain manner optimization. Companies will be able to act on real time data at every level. Upper management will be able to evaluate plant level performance in real time. Production managers will de diagnose quality issues before they reach downstream. And executives interested in contact manufacturing performance will gain new visibility. So, fourth one, you can see workforce transformation, low unemployment, that is the low unemployment rates and an industries gap make it difficult to manufacture to recruit skilled workers. Research by some of the scientists DOT showed that this skills gap may leave over 2 million manufacturing questions on field between 2018 and 2020. By incorporating other manufacturers and survive these shifts that is uh, and remain competitive both to Often, Agile is a beautiful word disassociated from its real meaning and principles. So, if you go back to in time and take on the development of the new, that is, a, it can approach a new man with smart manufacturing industries. So, here we can see this difference between lean and agile and lean. You can see reduce waste, and peak complexity, establish standard procedures continuously improves. So in other manufacturing, iterate faster, bottom up, flexibility, welcome changes, including there is technological. So in combined with these two, you can see that is lean and agile. So productivity, productivity, increase quality, empower people, respond to customer demands. So this what it plays important role. So how to implement this Agile manufacturing? So before going to the, this, what is the history of Agile? So Agile movement was born in 2001 when 17, when 17 software developers gathered in a sky lodge in Uta, they all had at least one thing in common, that is a deep dissatisfaction with the waterfall model. This waterfall model is a development method that is linear and sequential. Practitioners must complete each step of production before they start the next. Though structured and easy to follow, the waterfall model has many pitfalls. So primarily, this waterfall model discourages changing course until the end of the development cycle because it privileges forward progress. The waterfall model is incorporating feedback makes it challenging to adapt to changing requirements and slow production as we must to go to great length of our steps. This is what the history of, you can see the agile. So now agile 
how to implement this man agile manufacturing in order to successfully implement agile manufacturing manufacturers need to apply its principles and encourage some changes to their organization these changes will vary depending on the organization's its size and structure then what is the agile manufacturing principle you can see the lean and agile manufacturers are both widely popular however they should not be confused on the other on one hand lean manufacturing is focused on increasing efficiency by reducing waste on the other hand agile manufacturing aims to increase efficiency or through flexible parallel problem solving by some of the ideas of this lean manufacturing and agile manufacturing overlap the fundamental principles are different that is what you can see from the previous slide so here as i said that is a key principle of agile manufacturing iterate faster what is iterate faster you can see the idea to of delivering smaller pieces of value more frequently central to agile manufacturing rather than attempting to design a single perfect product in one go the objective is to rapidly produce multiple version each iteration with its flaws and shines reveals new insights that make it possible to improve the process as the process improves each new version of the product surpasses its previous why does this incrementally iterative method result in a superior result because process engineers deal with many variables iterations allow to test different solutions and gather data and individual variables without this data it is difficult to determine which changes are necessary at a given stage to optimize production then what is this flexibility so here according to some scientists volatility is rising and taking its toll whether from increasing fluctuations in demand labor rates and input prices or from disruptive events like natural disasters and financial crises volatility has damaged supply chain increased costs and eroded profits so companies are increasingly recognizing that they must offer their manufacturing strategies in face of rising volatility in order not to bend under external forces manufacturing companies need to have flexible system their internal structure needs to be dynamic enough to rebound quickly from external disruption this agile manufacturing are aware that environmental factors economic political environmental social technological require them to constantly stay on their toes so they make sure that every component of this system can grow organically and adapt approach so for decades goals and directives have passed from the top down that is yeah for a decade you can see goals and directives are passed from the top of the organization to the bottom a top down approach as its advantages such as the quick implementation of decisions take by upper level of the company however this comes at the cost employees and the bottom can feel disconnected and disengaged low engagement can discourage accountability and innovation agile manufacturing favors a bottom up approach in which ideas and directive this directives power are seamlessly between in all layers of company with this approach directors or managers or give operators or shop floor workers voice as a manufacturing supports the idea that those closest are to manufacturing challenges understand them best the more operators engineers managers and business executives collaborate the more effective operations will be as a whole collaboration across functions and seniority level yields higher value products and processes argumentation so in argumentation is the best understood in a context to automation automation process of a automating work tasks in other words replacing work by machines argumentation on the other hand enhance workers capability through technology so this automation was considered the solution to higher labor cost and human error in the factory so that automation is also expensive difficult to maintain and inflexible so this agile manufacturing argues the humans very well performed the best if they have to tools that enable them to all their work 
from the computer region assisted quality checks to error proofing work instructions. Agile manufacturing use technology to help the people do more work better. And this implementation, so how it has implemented, you can see one is implementing as an office through organization change, culture, culture and purpose. So here, this agile culture puts people at the center. Agile organization are structured in a way that team members have ownership over their work. Leaders in an agile organization do not rule over their employees, but rather provide them with tools to achieve the results on their own. So the purpose, you can see this automation, autonomous agile teams are goal-oriented. After setting their goals and deciding how to achieve them, teams are held accountable for their progress. Even if different teams work on different goals, there is an organization-wide cohesion. All goals fit into a greater purpose. Agile organization understand why that purpose is essential to give meaning to the short-term goals that teams work hard to meet. Purpose also increase productivity and employees work with a sense of purpose. They are more engaged and motivated. A agile organization share their purpose with everyone so that every employees know why they are doing that, why they are doing, what they are doing. A purpose-driven mindset gives people and boost motivation and engagement. Next, you can see the implementation of agile manufacturing. Second one is network of team. So team holds to gain great importance in other organizations. Accountability, transparency, and collaborations are crucial within team. Team members have clear roles, but they do not necessarily have a single role, and roles can be shared among multiple roles, people. The work environment should be open and safe. Finally, teams should be in touch with each other so that members can source knowledge and insights from other teams. So next, we can rapid cycle, the iterate faster. Principle of agile manufacturing encourages team to quickly go through multiple versions of process or product. The ability to implement this principle is a core feature of successful agile organization. In order to iterate faster, agile teams work on concrete goals over short predetermined period of time. Both the goals and time frame are critical to agility. So goals should you can see. Goals should be realistic and measurable. Team members are held accountable for them. The time frame should be fairly short on the order of phase to keep teams iterating. Next, you can see there is a technology. So it is essential to all the cornerstones of other manufacturing. Without the right technology, it is impossible for companies to deliver value at a fast enough pace to keep up with customer demands and market fluctuation. So you can see some of the examples, that is, examples of enabling technologies include real-time communications and work management tools to improve flow and organization. So here you can see you can push out new solution and products and interactive digital work instructions to easily keep employees still sets up to date but agile is not about adopting solve it all techniques rather it is about finding the right technologies to improve their unique processes workers and products now you can see the applications of other manufacturing so manufacturers can bring agility to their organization by adopting the right technologies so to iterate faster as an effect is turned into technologies that help them collect data to become flexible tools and software that have never quick turnovers are essential. To follow bottom-up approach, agile manufacturers award their workers, workers more trust and power to augment their workers, they equip them with proper tools and training. So here you can see, let's look at some examples of enabling technologies in action. So first one, using real-time data to guide inflation. Here, contract manufacturers 
that is that being supports a wide variety of customers and is subject to a fast changing requirements moreover the service customers need to receive their products fast as possible this means they will also add increase in space thus no non value add steps had to be identified and eliminated quickly the only way to achieve this to run process again and again and collect data on each equation the will start uh, started using iot that is internet of things where smart manufacturer connected tools and sensors to collect real time data on every equation this data collected through the use of manufacturing appliance app platform allowed process needs to be incorporate feedback after each process completion this cycle of iterative we can see this cycle of iterative improvements step in process of non value added steps with such visibility into the process process engineers are able to take control over the operation following a bottom up approach the result cycle times for reduce and production yield and throughout work significantly significantly increased so so using 3d printing to prototype faster 3d printing have potential to great accurate design and prototype iterative prototyping iterative cycle becomes shorter as new version of products are tested in a fraction of time indeed a new prototypes no longer need to be designed and manufactured in a process that can take months rather they are simply printed on try immediately products are thus tested happily and often and improvements are made with each version this delivers optimal end products that safety customer demands so this 3d printings also makes mass customization realistic for manufacturers for example 3d printing is a transforming the jewelry industry by allowing the rapid production of highly detailed custom parts 3d printing allows manufacturers to be much more flexible to change customer demands using computation document operators so here you can see using computer vision document operators so computer vision systems can assist operate through a production process the system tag the operators movement and inspect the product as it being as it being made so based on ongoing context analysis of the manufacturing environment the computer provides assistance and performs the reliability quality checks with computers vision manufacturer can deliver a much greater array of products so without sacrificing productivity or quality when used to assist operators in line computer vision systems can help fatig workers detect defects and provide error proofing in complex custom base where workers are want to miss or miss execute steps with computer vision assisting with continuity really taxing task operators have more attention and focus for problem solving innovation so here you can see the agile manufacturing there is a methodology has been in the spotlight for almost two decades so 41% of organization surveyed by m kim saying say the companies have fully implemented or in the area program of implementing a company wide agile management however It is only in recent years the technology enabling agility in the manufacturing sector has emerged. So now there is a promising potential for manufacturing companies to join the digital revolution and lose the past behind. So this you can see there is a mass customization. So a mass customization is a process of delivering marketing mark goods. and services that are modified to satisfy specific customer needs so a mass customization is a marketing and manufacturing techniques that combines the flexibility and personalization of custom made products with a low unit cost associated with mass production so other names of mass customization include made to order or built to order here mass customization is a process that allows a customer to personalize certain features of a product while still keeping cost are are near mass production prices so here innovative manufacturing techniques help companies produce interchangeable parts that can be combined in a variety of ways to build a cost effective product that to satisfy a specific customer needs the four four primary types of mass customizations are 
collaborative customization, adaptive customization, transparent customization, and cosmetic customization. So various companies employ mass customization techniques, including retail companies, software creators, financial service companies, and model home builders. So companies that offers mass customization can give themselves a competitive advantage for companies that only offers generic products. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your patience. If you have any doubts or questions, you can raise your hand. Uh, dear participants, any questions? Yes, feel free to ask questions. So this, I think, one and a half hour, I bored you people. So it's a fully theory that I gave you complete in depth of introduction to this smart manufacturing. So I, it may have full. Yes. Thank you, sir. If anybody's having questions, they can ask. Uh, uh, dear participants, now you can uh, unmute yourself to ask questions. Now it is provision given to unmute yourself. So please ask any questions for the speaker. So be interactive. So two things I can understand. One is they are fully understood or they might have not understood anything. <laughs> There's very much information, sir. Uh, Thank you. In the positive side, they understood uh, much better on smart manufacturing. Okay. And shall I wind uh, up, sir? Participants, any questions? Let us. Uh, Ask Arasu. I can uh, stop sharing, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, wait for wait for uh, five minutes.